Howdy y'all and welcome to the Hill Billy Horror Channel. Playing some farming simulator 22 today. And we're up at the store. As you can see, I, I have spent more money. And uh, I, I just can't help it. I haven't spent money between the end of the last episode and the beginning of this one. But I did spend money during the last episode. Like I was running around doing collectibles. And I, I just, I'd check and then I'm like, oh there's something on sale, I gotta buy it. You know, but I was looking, I have noticed when I was running around, that's poplar in that field behind the farm that we're hopefully eventually going to buy in episode 20,251. But, uh, I, I wish I would have bought that bio baler. If I'd have known that was poplar behind there, we'd have bought that bio baler. But anyway, we'll just leave that alone for now. I guess we could always lease a bio baler. But I want to deliver our lettuce today so that we can, you know, buy that field or that farm. I want to buy that farm today. That That's the goal. That's our only goal today. I don't care if we've got to work for like, you know, if this episode's got to be 700 hours long, we want to buy that, that farm. So first of all, we need a trailer. Now we are going to just lease this stuff. And I think this one's probably going to be best. So we're going to go ahead and there's nothing extra on it, right? $1,249. We're going to do that. And then hopefully this works because it just keeps snowing. I don't know if maybe I should get one of these. I was going to get a, what, a forklift. But I don't know how well forklifts are going to do in the snow. But I also don't know how well stuff like this is going to do... Um between the greenhouses i mean i i think that might be a little bit too big to fit between those greenhouses that one looks kind of small but i i i'd say we're we're going to try the forklift for now because a forklift would be better i thought about doing this one but that doesn't look like it would move at all in the snow and but this one's got big meaty tires on it so it should work i, I guess we're going to find out because we're going to lease it eighteen hundred eighty seven dollars that's not that's not great but we're gonna we're gonna do it and you know because like i said i i i want to buy i really want to buy that land and i'm i'm certain if we buy if we sell our lettuce today we can buy that land and i have been thinking too that i said last episode that there is a collectible and this is gonna be bad there is a collectible behind that. I guess we'll find out what this forklift is going to do in the snow. There's a collectible behind that door in that other farm. And so basically it's on this farm. Wait, this farm. So that farm is $97,008. That collectible that's behind that door is worth $101,000. And there's another collectible in that's worth $1,000. So two dollars which means if we buy this farm and grab the collectibles, then we'll actually make like what almost just under five thousand dollars for just for buying the farm. So I I would say we ought to do that first. Hopefully we make enough money off the lettuce to buy that farm, collect that stuff, and then I don't know how I guess we'll find out. Is this gonna work? It seems to. It does seem to be doing what it's supposed to do. Is that going to make it up there? Now why would that not work? I know it's snowing, but that, that should go up those ramps, I would think. If we get a run at it. Come on, get up there. I need to get a more even run at it. That's that's interesting. I may have to go park the trailer to where it's kind of. I don't know. There it goes. All right, good deal. But uh, yeah, if we. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, great. Use my joystick here. Alright, so if we sell the lettuce, and then we should get enough money 
Is it L? It is L. Okay. We get we should get enough money to buy that farm, get the collectible, and then hopefully still have enough money to buy the other farm. If we don't, I'm I'm gonna go do something, and I'm pretty sure the only still the only um, job the neighbors want me to do is plowing. Like that's that's pretty much all they ever want me to do right now is plowing yeah, that one field. I could check, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's just it's still plowing that field, the uh, cotton field that we did but didn't get, and I don't know. But yeah, I'll see you at the greenhouses. We want to cut this stuff. I don't want to jabber on because there might this might this might be a long episode no matter what because we're buying that farm. We're getting it. It's it's going to happen. Hmm. Well, I have gotten half. Of the, I got half the pallets loaded. A little more than half now. What are we doing here? Sometimes it's. Oh, I got it on there and then took it off. And sometimes it seems to catch on there funny, but it'd be fine. We're looking at here. What is? I guess I'm hooked on the greenhouse. Okay, I was doing good. Oh crap! So I guess if anybody ever asked you if you want to you know, do forklifts work in the snow, just tell them absolutely not. Uh, it's not terrible. It's not, it's not that bad, but man, like the forklift moves all over the place and it does not like the snow. Especially if you try to carry two pallets at once. It's, I've only dropped one so far. You guys probably seen that in the, in the speedy up bit thing if I did it but if you just carry one at a time it, it you gotta make obviously twice as many trips but it's it's less tedious I guess we'll try to do two since this one's so far away see if it works you just gotta be real careful and drive kind of slow and because when you're going through the snow it is just like whopping all over the place not even which so far so I haven't really ever used this joystick a whole bunch but I have a Logitech joystick I'm using and the only thing I'm not crazy about is first of all the pallets for some reason sometimes just don't want you to pick them up like right there my forks are in there but it's just not I don't know why it's not going in there. Something I'm missing here or whatever. Oh, that'd be why. They're like tilted way forward. That might make sense. Now I'm not going to be able to get it, do I? I guess that'll work. I don't know. It'll probably fall off though. But yeah, when you drive through the snow, of course, it just like moves all over the place, and it it, it doesn't like it. I originally, when I first tried loading them, I was loading them from trying to pick them up from the side. But of course, the level of the snow and all that stuff is really messing it up. So I started loading them from the end because that part's clear. But the only thing about doing like stuff like this, like loader work, is I'm like super focused. So I don't really talk a whole lot during it. At least I don't know. I'm trying to. Gotta try to be entertaining. Get up on there. There we go. But yeah, they're fitting just fine. And honestly, first person view ain't too bad since I've got the forks so close together. I can actually see it. If you've got them doing from the side, the forks are... I guess you could have the forks close together and still do it. There's no, like, tilt indicator, though, is what's kind of getting me a little bit. So I can't tell how, how much it's tilted. that 
that wasn't very good. As long as it stays on there, we're good. Is it tilted again? I just need to leave this camera over here, I guess. Yeah, I've like tilted it too far forward again. There we go. Alright, let's look back here. I keep running into the greenhouses because that's just what you do. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Stay on there. But yeah, we get we get these loaded, we'll get them taken over there and then nice and careful nice and, it does seem like the, like the slower you move sometimes um, it like jogs around a lot Whoop. it seems to jog around a little bit more all right let's go ahead and push that a little bit hopefully they all strap on there that'd be good I think we're only missing the oh, there's a tree there I think we're only missing the three that are at this one, maybe. We'll have to count. I know there's there's six greenhouses and three apiece, so that should be 18 things. Which, I guess, how close are we to... Oh, yeah, okay. We're not even close to another pallet, so we'll just leave it alone. We'll save them till next year. There we go. I guess the sort of a level indicator would be if you can lower it all the way down... And it doesn't touch the ground. Whoop. Yeah, if you can lower it all the way to the ground, and it doesn't, like the front of the forks don't touch. So like there, that's a good one. And you hear that, like, click. I tried using that mirror, but that mirror doesn't really help out very much. probably need to set my stuff up a little bit different so like that camera movement I've got it to where oh that's gonna fall off for sure here it goes I've got it set up to where if I twist my joystick then it turns the camera of course you're gonna be in the way aren't you Let's see if we can squeeze past you here all right so I know there's nine on the other side so that's six seven eight so there's one one pallet running around here somewhere that I haven't picked up. Like I said, there should be 18. Uh, let's see, how are we going to get that? There we go. Let me see if we can pick it up from the side, I guess, and then stick it on there. There we go. Perfect, man. That worked out. Uh, let's go ahead and set that up on top. It doesn't look like it's going to fit there in the back. I don't have anything to tilt my camera up, though. On my joystick. At least not yet. Oh, wrong, wrong way. Um, I need you to stay up there, preferably. I need to tilt it back a little bit. That'll work. Look at that. Alright, so... I have one pallet. Where's the one pallet? Maybe it's back here somewhere not one over there huh should have been 19 right no okay there it is duh it's right where you just picked him up at that makes sense doesn't it oh the snow the snow's getting me It is a terrible time to be hauling produce.
It is, it is getting dark. It is snowing. There is loads of snow on the ground. And we're, we're, we're out selling produce. So, I mean, uh, we need the money though. I don't want to wait till tomorrow. If we wait till tomorrow, then we're going to just, we're going to be out of luck. The price will have went down quite a bit. It's already going down. It's went down a decent amount today while I've been fooling around with other stuff. What are we... Why is it... Why is it not selling? Should be selling, right? Should sell all of it? I think. Maybe it's... It shouldn't be too high, right? Maybe I'm not quite on the trigger. I, I I don't know. I always thought it would sell everything off the trailer. It sold the back part of the trailer. Hmm. Of course, this is a dolly trailer. Well, I... I I don't know what the solution is there other than to do that. I don't know how else to sell the stuff. Yeah, I don't, I guess maybe the trigger's just not, not high enough, I guess. I don't, I don't know. It's weird though, it took some of it off the trailer, but it won't take the rest. That's very strange. Just ignore this. I'm, I'm like super strong at the moment. And it's weird though, the pallets do have to be upright in order to sell. There we go. We're getting money slowly. We're not. Alright, how much will we have made? Let's turn that back off. Getting there, getting there, getting there. Alright, there we go. It's all sold. Let's go ahead and return that while we're thinking about it. Otherwise, we're going to have to pay an extra fee. How much water do we have? We need water? Not really. Okay. So let's, we might, ah, we'll return that, why not? I've kept it for like three days now or something like that. Alright, some money. How much do we make? $29,242. So we have over, we have $301,000. Oh, what are we doing? Alright, wrong button. Alright. There we go. So, we're going to go sleep. And then tomorrow, we're going to buy buy some land. We're going to buy some land. And be, be that much poorer. Have no money. But we'll have land. Land's important, right? So, it is morning and it is still snowing. It says the sun's supposed to come out, but it is still snowing. So we are we are going to take the tractor because I don't know if I trust the truck. But I think the plan that we have planned is we're going to buy this farm. We're going to collect our collectible tractor and horse, I think it is, that's in this shop over here. And then we're going to buy the other farm. And then I got a call. I w I've been asked to do some snow plowing because it's gotten so bad. And since we have a nice big old tractor that we can use, I've been asked to plow some 
clear off a little bit of road space because the neighbors seem to be having a little bit of an issue getting around. Let's see. Oh, this one's kind of... There it is. We're going to close that. We don't, we don't need no winter weather coming in. Money. All the money. There we go. Alright. We own land. We now own land. We we just we just made money from buying land. Isn't that crazy? But honestly, you wouldn't normally make that much unless you collected the other nine tractors. I guess if we had collected the other nine horses, then you know, we would have we would have made like another hundred thousand dollars. So we'd be that much more up, but we have not collected that much. Let's look at our weather forecast. When's it supposed to get sunny? Oh, in about an hour. I wonder if it'll melt off straight away then. They probably should have called me yesterday and asked me about it, but it's not too bad. Like, the roads aren't terrible, but, like, there's little spots here and there, but it could probably just use a little bit of a run on it. There's these sections on the white line and stuff that, and then there's a spot over there on that road that, uh, oh, like, see, this intersection's kind of, kind of bad, and this road's kind of covered, but we'll see what we can do. Yeah, see, there's a spot right in front of this farm that is, uh, it's completely covered the road. Let's go ahead and, I guess we'll just call them. Tell them we want to buy this farm. Finally, episode 17 or 53rd or, you know, something like that. I'm not really sure. 290. That's a lot of money. That's so much money. I guess it's still Poplar in there. They haven't changed it. It does say Poplar. What does it say? It says it is growing. Okay, so we got a while. We got, we got quite a while. There's a whole lot of plowed going on here. So right now we own the greenhouses, this section here, this farm here, which is just buildings and stuff, and now we own this. So our other task we're going to need to do when we get a moment is we're going to need to move our trailer, or I guess call somebody to move our trailer, our mobile home. We need to start moving all of our equipment to either one yard or the other. I'm not really sure where we're going to, which, which, what's, what we're going to put where try to get my words out but uh yeah they, they've they've asked us to clear some roads so we're going to do a little bit of plowing i don't know if the snow melts off as soon as the sun comes out that wouldn't really make any sense but i'm assuming maybe it just comes in, it goes off over time so i've never do use the snow plow but i've been told that it's up at the store that it's at the shop but it's around back so we're going to run up there and see if we can get a plow put on this thing and see if we can clear the roads because the neighbors said they can't get their cars out. So we're going to help them out since we got the nice big JCB tractor now. I guess while we're at the shop we might check and see if there's any deals. Not that we have any money but you know if the right deal popped up and we didn't have the money we would just probably have to borrow the money from the bank. Just call the bank and tell them we have to have this equipment. Oh, there's a truck. Ah, we we will definitely need that at some point. Fifty-two thousand dollars and a mower. We really need the mower. At some like we do need grass for sure. Um, Sepkinsnusil something. Uh, does it? I guess I'm assuming there's a matching one to that. Mowers. I think it's that. Oh, it looked like it was that one, probably. Is there not a matching one to it? How much sense does that make? That just goes on the front. And then that one's also three meters, so maybe we won't buy that one? Because I don't know. Because you have to put that on the front, and then you'd have to put... Why would they do that? That's a hay, the hay and forage pack. Why would they put just a front mower? I don't understand. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I mean, what do, what do I know? 
All right, so let's see what we got going on here. It says it's round back. I would assume it's round this way. If it's not, we'll just... Oh, there it is. Um, so let's see. So if we knock... Maybe we ought to put the weight on the back. I don't really know if we'll need weight, but... I don't want to leave just, just leave the weight sitting around like it is. Now, like I said, I've never used a snow plower before, but... It'd be interesting to see how it works. We're going to put the weight on the back, just just to see. Alright, does this work kind of like a loader? Oh, that's the wrong. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it doesn't... It doesn't seem to work with my joystick. So that's interesting. Alright. So I, th I think we got something figured out doesn't really seem to want to do exactly what I would like it to do but let's see what we got going on here how well is this gonna work oh, it looks like it ought to work pretty well we just drive right here on the road like we do heck yeah look at that man clearing the snow does it come off the left side if you just go too far or how does that work we don't need to clear all the way to the grass, but I guess that'll work. Yeah, buddy. Getting some snow plowing done. I, I ain't never done no snow plowing in this. Oh, crap. I guess we ought to turn, turn those on. Let everybody know that we're doing, doing a bit of road work. Apparently I was going too fast. I guess a good speed is probably like 15 or something like that. I don't know. It was definitely that. That was definitely too fast. So we don't have to clear everything, but clearing the the trouble spots would be would be really good. All right, there we go. Maybe we ought to just set our cruise control. That might be a little more ideal. Let's set our cruise control there at, uh, at 15. See how that works out. That, that ought to be good. That seems to be working. Heck yeah, man. Get it scraped off. That way the sun will melt it you know, warm up the pavement and get her melted off like it does. I think we left a li little bit right there. Look out, car. I'm doing road work. I think there's some there, or is it just white? Maybe it's just white. Yeah, I think it's just white. Okay. keep thinking there's like snow on the road but maybe I'm going maybe I'm going too fast let's lower it down a little bit more alright so what we probably ought to do is sit here and go down like this plow it off and then like in a trouble spot like that just go ahead and whip a Yui and push that off the road Look out, people. Work being done. Just got to be careful not to run anybody over a bit. I mean, you know, in the wintertime, you got to watch for the plows. Plows are important. Be 
people can't. You calm down. If you hadn't stopped so close, we'd be fine. What are they even thinking? Look at that. They're honking at me. So, so rude. Can't even believe how rude they are. Alright, I think if we just go forward, it'll it'll kind of come off the plow up here somewhere. There we go. Heck yeah, getting her done. This is how you do. This. We definitely want to go to our farm and, you know, we're not going to plow our farm because this ain't our plow, but we'll... Oh, there's some spot right there. Make sure put that plow on the ground there. Need to clear that off. I don't want to drive too fast. We'll throw too much off into the other lane. Come on now. Get off there. Get off the road. How does it look if we do this? Not too... Like, you can't really see a whole lot from in there. It's definitely clearing it up, though. That is a lot of snow. At least it has stopped snowing now, so that's good. That'll help us a little bit. Let's see if we'll pile it in their driveway. We do. That's just how you do, man. That's just how you do. Getting her pushed off. Look at that big old line of traffic back there. Waiting on the plow. Waiting on the snow plow. This section of road here must not be very busy because there's a lot of there's a lot of snow out here. Alright, we want to turn that down a little bit more. And this thing, like, if you go too fast, it really it really bunches that snow up. But that's realistic. That's exactly how actual plowing is. If you've never plowed a road. You don't want to go too fast. Usually, though, the faster you go, the more it slings it. But, of course, in here, it's not just going to throw it way out into that water. But this is a good thick snow right here. Right, let's see if we, maybe we can kind of... That's as far as we can go. I bet it is. Whoops. Sorry, people. Let's see if they just drive over it. See how that works. Yep, right over it. Ah, they don't care. And of course, we've got this car parked here in the road. Oh, man. Alright, we better slow down. We're going to have to drop our plow here. It's not too bad, but I'm just I'm trying to uncover the white line. So that we got a little bit of space to drive down there in town, man. That was, there's a lot of snow on the road down there. And I was just thinking, I, I don't know if we're getting paid for this. They didn't say anything about getting paid. They just they said, hey, you know, since you got a big tractor, can you just, you know, go up behind the shop up there and grab that plow and go clear a little bit of road and stuff? And I said, sure, sure, no problem. I'm a good neighbor. I'll help you out. You know, they've been helping me out, giving me stuff to do. I've been, you know, harvesting their fields and whatnot, but, you know, help them out. I'll, you know, they help me out, I help them out. You know, if it wasn't for them, we, we wouldn't, we'd be a long ways back, because I don't even know how we'd make any money if it wasn't for the neighbors giving us tasks and jobs to do. I mean, granted, we worked a lot, but, and, you know, but they've paid us real good. You look at all this snow, man. That's, that's a lot of snow on the road. A lot of snow. We're getting her pushed off, though, our big, powerful JCB tractor. Trying to catch that center line a little bit. 
it ain't that big of a deal because like you, you can drive around that obviously but Look at that pushing that snow, getting her cleaned off. That's some good stuff, man. I like this. This this is kind of fun. It's something something a little bit different than at least what I usually do. Usually I'm just all about the farming, but it's winter time. Get the snow plowed off. So we got the plowing pretty well done, and I brought this. I took the plow back to the store and then uh, grabbed this equipment. But I don't, I don't know where I want to keep it. I guess I might keep it over the other farm. It looks like there might be, there might be more buildings over there. Yeah, I know there's like more like closable buildings like buildings we could you know close the door and lock it so nobody nobody messes with our stuff but i guess maybe we'll just keep this stuff over there for now and then you know as we work and whatnot and get stuff going then we'll just figure out where where all we want to put everything because for now we're just kind of now that we've got two places to put stuff we have uh we need to move all our equipment to where where we want it to be. And I guess this stuff, maybe we'll just stick it. I think there's an open shed right back here. We'll just stick it back in here. Yeah, there we go. That'll be a good place to put it. I would take the time to, uh, you know, clear all this snow, but really I mean it it's not that big of a deal the tractor goes through it Whoop. forget these brakes have like turny wheels on them steery steerable wheels Get this put back in here out of the weather come on there we go let's unhook that there and then we'll put our, our weeder which is slightly different we might end up putting just all the grass equipment into this shed and then we'll get everything sorted at some point but for now we're just going to put it right in here and then I think what we're going to do is I would like to I'd like to get our trailer moved or our uh, mobile home but I don't know I guess we'll probably put it over at the other farm because right now we don't have any animals here, which we probably won't. If we get our house built over there, because of course we're not going to live in a mobile home forever, but right now we don't have the money to build a house, so for now we're going to just have our mobile home move from there to over here because we need. To, if we're going to try to get animals, we need to be closer to them. Plus, since we own land, I really want to get our our living situation moved onto our land. I think that would be better. So let's just run over here. And we need to figure out exactly where we want to put it. Because having a plan is, you know, a big old part of it. And then these gates actually open oh, one at a time, I think. Yeah, so that, that's a little bit annoying, but it's okay. There we go. Which we might just leave those open for now, but as you can see, there's actually a little lane that runs through there. It goes from that pasture to that pasture, and there's no gate on the end of it, which I guess we might look into putting one there. I don't know. It's not really going to matter until we get cows. For now, we can just leave it open. Once we get cattle, then we'll have to open and close it. And then I guess we could put 
We could probably just put a road up through there, but it looks like there might already be one. I don't know. I guess when the snow melts off, we'll look, because there might be a road there. If there's not, I can always put one in, and that'd be easier than going through those gates. All right, so if we want to put a house in, where do we want it to go? I, well, I guess the house itself... I think we might put where those silos are, those uh, bins right there. If we put them there, put the house there, that'd be a good t good thing. Sorry, I just got a text from my wife. There's apparently a semi it's flipped over not too far from my house. They just turned over because it's they just turned everybody around because it's an explosive truck. Oh. Where in the world is that? Oh, okay. I know where it is. That's interesting. That's not very good. Apparently there's an explosive truck um, not that far from my house right now. It just got turned over. That's not very good. Let's see. Let's let, let me see if I can use my phone to figure out exactly how far it is. <coughs> so this says it's about four miles away. I don't know. Uh, I guess hopefully I'll get some kind of text or something but if if I need to if I need to leave the house that that's interesting this isn't really part of the game but this is this is crazy man um let me text the wife back I'll tell her it's four miles away I don't know if she'll have looked it up or not but maybe anyway that's crazy news, but uh, all right. So our mobile home can go just about anywhere. To be honest, we could probably just set it up. Um, I think for now, we might just set it up like right here, like in front of this shed or something. But let me call the company and see how much they want. Which we might cut this tree out and then just put it right here on this, maybe. But let me call them and see how much they want to move it. So, um, I, I was going to jump on here, you know, I, I jumped off, I logged off for a little bit. And I was going to get on here and say that, you know, I called them. So they said they would charge me two ten thousand two hundred and forty three dollars. I said that's a little bit of a weird number, but okay. And uh, I was like, well, I'm a, you know, and I was going to get on here and say, well, they said they'd charge that, but they can't move it until the snow melts. But uh, apparently it it just hit spring and all the snow just like disappeared. So I guess they can get it moved. I'm thinking about having them, I think I might have them sit it right there. I don't know how that might have to. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough money, because I might have to level that to get it to sit right there. I need a. I guess I could just sit it here. It's only temporary. I don't know. I don't know exactly where to sit it. Exact, you know, pretty much. But I'm going to look into it and figure out where I want to put it. And then I'm going to call them and tell them I want it moved. Oh, this is pretty level. We're not going to use these. So maybe we'll, yeah, we'll just set it right in front of these. This will work out for now. Because, like, if we run the water and sewage and all that stuff to it, if it's sitting right here, then when we tear these out and build a house, which, actually, I say that, but can we tear these out? I would assume we can. Yeah, we can. Okay. So, yeah, if we tear these out, then the water and septic won't have to run that much farther to get to the house. 
So, yeah, I'll do that. Give me just a minute, uh, you know, or at least, you know, hours or days or whatever. I'll just call them and see how long it's going to take them to get it done. Oh, yeah. All right, they just got it set down. It looks like it's all blocked up and stuff. I, I think we're good. They left the axle under there because I told them it's going to be temporary. So, I told them that we're going to build a house fairly soon but let's let's see how much a house cost us i don't know which one we want to buy probably the biggest possible one there is you know that'd be good that's a that's a big house we actually don't need that big of a house that's a nice looking place kind of blocky looking i don't know which one we want to buy but it looks like we're gonna need like i don't even like that one's only fifty thousand, but that doesn't seem right Maybe we'll go with, we need to go with a base house. I like this one. This is like the American version, you know, colonial style, I think. But we'll go, that's $150,000. So we, that's not necessarily going to be our next goal because we might just stay in that mobile home for like a long time. But we have land. We have lots of land. Lots of land and buildings and, you know... Oh my goodness. We are we are one step closer. We're completely broke. We have only one thousand six hundred and eighty dollars left to our name. But uh we have land and we even have a crop back here, so I guess we got that going for us. We have a silo. What are these things? What are those for? If they're not silos, maybe they're silo extensions? I I'm not really sure. Let's see, let's check here right quick. I'm, I'm probably taking way too long, but I'm going to guess they don't, oh wait, why is it, animals, barns, cows, big, that's part of the animal pack, oh yeah, it's all one, I see how it is, okay. So like this building, this building, this pit, this building, and these silos are all one piece. So if you sold one, it would it would sell all of them. So don't do that. It actually says in the mod description, do not sell the cow farm. Because I'm assuming you would just never get it set back up the way it is. But we do have a nice big silo pit here. I don't know how much fits in it, but it's, it looks like it's really big, so probably a lot. We have a slurry pit, another open building. Boy, well, we've got lots of stuff. We're moving up in the world. Might need to cut some grass or something, though. Clean this up a little bit, but that's that's in time. Right now, we're just enjoying the fact that we have land. And we have jobs that we can do. And she still wants that field plowed. She is just all over that. And then... Uh, uh, I, I'm i pretty sure I'm going to take out a loan and, and buy that truck. But, uh, anyway, that's probably enough for today. We'll, we'll sign off and do some more stuff tomorrow, I suppose. But thanks for joining me. Like button, subscribe, and notification bell thingy, and all that good stuff, you know. I guess if y'all feel up to it. But, uh, have a good one.